Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. And this time, we're going to go up to Upworthy, and it's just about a quick-thinking 10-year-old boy who escapes potential kidnapping, asking Cashier to pretend to be his mom. A woman was following him on his way home from school, and he immediately remembered what his father had taught him about such situations. I will list the article right in, all of the details and videos in the description as I always do okay it says around 840,000 children are reported missing every year in the US and while many of those reports are resolved within hours some children go missing permanently a 10 year old boy might have had a similar fate if it not for his quick and smart thinking Sammy Green was heading home from school in Portstown when a woman began following him reports CBS News. Sam Green, the boy's father, told WPVI he started walking with him and asking him where he, his family was, asking where his dad was. The woman then tried to lure Sammy away by asking him to go to a nearby store with her. The woman then attempted to get Sammy to enter a neighboring convenience shop. She said she was probably uh, she probably knew me and was going to Wawa and that he was supposed to go with her and he could get anything he wanted. And this is a tweet from, um, you know, Twitter. I'll definitely post that in the, uh, you know, description as well. Continuing on with the article, it goes on to say, speaking with CBS News, Sammy explained that the woman was making him uncomfortable with several questions. He recalled she was like, I'm going to Wawa, are you going there? Uh, what are you getting from Wawa? Where's your family at? Fortunately, the boy quickly understood what was going on. And entered a store he was familiar with and approached a 17-year-old cashier, Hannah Daniels. He was like, pretend you're like my mom, Hannah said. And I was just like, all right, go to the back. He didn't want to leave my side. The nerve-wracking moment was recorded on a security camera at the store, which also shows the unfamiliar woman standing by the door as if she were waiting for Sammy. Hannah walked calmly up to the door, putting herself between Sammy and the woman and locked it from the inside. And this is another tweet from CBS Philadelphia. The woman walked off all thanks to Sammy's quick thinking and Hannah's efforts to keep the child safe. The boy recalled, I was still shaking when I was in here. The shop's owner, Danny Smalls, praised her employee for having prevented a possible kidnapping. I am very proud of her. Hannah is a 17-year-old young lady. She did everything correctly, Smalls said. And this is the news report, which I will definitely uh, edit the video into there. So without further ado... Here we go. Little boy and a 17-year-old girl for foiling what appeared to be an attempted kidnapping in Pottstown on Friday. Action News reporter John Paul is live at Pottstown Police with that story tonight. John. Jim just got off the phone with police a few minutes ago. They tell me they have located the woman involved in all this. Now, the 10-year-old boy was walking just down the street. He was walking home on Friday when he says the woman tried to lure him away. That day when I was watching that video, I cried every time I saw it. This is the video that made Sam Green cry. His 10-year-old son, Sammy, is at the top of the screen and was being followed by a woman on Friday. said that she probably knew me and she was going to Wawa and that he was supposed to go with her and he could get anything he wanted. But Sammy wasn't going to fall for it. He knew exactly what to do. His dad taught him how to act in a situation like this. So he walked inside of a store that he was familiar with. It's called Danny B. Funky, just down the street from his house. We talked to the owner. He felt comfortable enough to come on in here, and he came right around the corner to where Hannah was, and she, he whispered in her ear. You can see it on the video. He walks to the store clerk and leans in. We found out what he said. He said, uh, to act like you're my mom, this lady's following me. After processing what was going on, you see her get between Sammy and the woman who is still holding the door open. She walks over, pulls it shut, and then locks it. The woman runs off. Sammy is now safe. 
The owner and Sammy's dad aren't sure what the woman was trying to do, but they know that Sammy and the clerk both did the right thing. He just knew something was not right and did what he needed to do. He did what he was supposed to do because he didn't know the person. Yeah, police are saying the same thing tonight when I talked to him a few minutes ago. They're praising the boy for his... Uh, similarity and was glad that his son had followed the instructions he'd given him previously on how to navigate such scenar scenarios. Green said, when we were watching the video, I cried every time I saw it to see my child looking for help because he was afraid basically for his life that cuts you deep. However, he said that this is an important lesson for all parents. Think of every scenario and make sure that children know and also practice it. Practice it. Practice your situations and scenarios like a fire drill. The woman involve, uh, involved was apprehended by police and is currently getting mental health treatment and has no charges filed against her. Sammy is being held as a hero and now has a family friend to walk him home from school. And that is the end of the article right there. Uh, just a, you know, feel good story with a happy ending. Uh, it's very important to teach your kids, you know, what to do. As parents, a lot of times we tend to want to, you know, be there and protect our children at every waking moment. However, uh, we don't always have the fortune to do so. So it's always best to instill those types of, you know, things into your child. So when they are by themselves, they will know what to do when such uh, scenarios come up and know how to act and go for help and safety. Um, just a really good, feel good story. I'm very happy that the cashier, Hannah, she, you know, didn't quite understand in the beginning, but once she got the gist of it, she jumped into action, putting herself between the boy and the, the woman, and, you know, making it a secure, safe place within the store until, you know, authorities arrived or his, you know, father, whatever the case was. So, you know, kudos to Hannah for, you know, doing a great job. But I would definitely like to know how you feel about this. So, as always, drop down in the comment section, as we always do, chop it up with me. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And with that, you guys, last but not least, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you watching my videos. And with that, I will get with you in the next one.